What is up all my kaiju friends and fans? This is Phil the Kaiju King from my collection room here in Greater Cincinnati. And in this video I am doing a overview of this thing. This awesome custom made sculpt in gigantic scale done by fantastic artist Mark Sang Yang. Very, very talented artist. Um, I know there's several, several people out in the Godzilla community that have gotten sculpts from Mark and I am one of them very proud people that have got several actually this was actually number 46 of customs that I've gotten from Mark in my collection and this is the Haru Nakajima in the Godzilla suit there's famous pictures on Google if you Google uh Haru Nakajima in God's in suit. It, this will come up, the picture. Um, it's a very, very cool sculpt, and it was a one I wanted for a while. And I had the picture on my phone, and uh, several months ago I finally got with Mark, and I said, hey, I was wondering if you could uh, do this for me. Um, gigantic, of course, scale. I wanted to salute my childhood hero with this, and... Uh, this is the labor of Mark's efforts and my commission. And I must say it's really an impressive, impressive uh, sculpture. He did a very good job on it. I like how every facet of it, he did a bang up job. Um, it is apropos and ironic that this happens to be my uh, favorite suit. Um, it's actually the 72. If you look at the reference photo, in the background, in the foreground is Nakajima in the suit, but in the background, up in up in the air, you can see Ghidorah's uh, suit up in the air. And so this is from the 1972 film Godzilla vs. Gigant, because this is the uh, look of that Godzilla. So. Um, 68 through 72 and then the preceding suit next the uh, 73 through, through 75 are my favorite suits so it's just very apropos that this just happens to be my favorite suit from my childhood hero inside of it depicting his uh portrayal of godzilla here as he was probably i'm, I'm guessing taking a break from filming and he uh, popped out of it to get a breather i'm sure because i always heard that the suits were very hot and very cumbersome for for uh, him but he uh, did it like a champion but like i said he is my childhood hero haru nakajima all these movies i finally remember especially the 70s films in particular and uh um godzilla vs gigan is my second favorite film closely followed following uh godzilla vs mecha godzilla from 1974. um gigan is my favorite enemy of godzilla and this uh picture i've always seen on on the internet and I loved it and I always wanted once I started endeavoring with Mark with customs I wanted to try and get this thing into my uh, collection and we finally got together like I said several months ago when we made it happen and I'm very happy I got this thing in my collection this is my childhood hero as I'm sure a lot of Godzilla fans would agree that it's their hero this uh, of course I didn't find out too much later when I started growing up that it, this was actually the man in the suit you know that and i you know learned a lot about him over the years but um and i did get to meet him um in june of 2017 in indianapolis um at the uh days of the dead i believe convention and of course he passed in august of that year so i got to meet him just a few months before his unfortunate passing so God bless you, Haru Nakajima in heaven. You are my childhood hero, and you will and forever always will be Godzilla in my eyes. This is a very nice sculpt. It's nicely done by Mark. Um, he always does a good job on these things, and this one's no exception. The tail on this figure goes down and touches level, but then it curls off to Nakajima's left and the suit's left. So it doesn't really eat up a tremendous amount of uh, shelf space, which is fortunate for me. 
Um, it just has to be on the top of a shelf because of its height. It's about roughly 18 inches tall, so. But it's nicely done. The uh, dorsal plates on the tail are small, of course, and they're light gray here on the outer top tips. And then it gets to the bigger dorsal plates on the back. Um, oh, by the way, the sculpting of the tree bark skin on the tail is rather nicely done. Charcoal gray, of course. Um, then you get up here to the dorsal plates on the back. They get bigger and bigger. Then you get to the middle of his back, and then there's the opening opened up with Haru Nakajima sticking out. Of course, the dorsal plates are split. And I think he got the zippers usually between, if you go from left to right, there's three rows. The zipper is usually between the first row on the left and the middle row. And the way Mark sculpted this, that's what it looks like. The uh, zipper opening would have been right there on the on in between the first and second row if you're looking at his back from left to right. Because um, there's two sets of dorsal plates laying over on the side here. And there's the one single row over here on his uh, left side. So on the right hand side of the, the suit in Nakajima, we've got two rows of dorsal plates laid over depicting him unzipping the suit and getting out and it's really cool how mark did it because i think he captured the exact way it should have been in my opinion but the, these dorsal plates are the same as the others the uh, dark black grayish on the inner part with the bumpy texture of course and then on the outer tips we got the light gray also up here on uh haru nakajima's left side of course the little dorsal plates on the outer row same deal, darker inner, light gray outer. Of course, the skin on Godzilla is all nicely done, nicely sculpted on the legs, both legs, nice sculpting of the tree bark skin, nice sculpting of the tree bark skin up here on the upper chest and on the arm, very nicely done. Just a very, very nice uh, work by Mark. Uh, as far as the feet go, they're three-toed. And the... Uh, toenails and the fingernails finger claws i should say the fingers are four uh four fingered the toes are three they are very light grayish brownish color i would say um and tone and color and they are darker at the base of the nail and then they get lighter as they go out same with the uh, claw nails on the hands um light grayish uh, brownish collar darker at the base and lighter as they go out but they're nicely done of course the arms are hanging down depicting just loosely hanging in the rubber suit and because Nakajima's arms are outside of the suit uh, holding it up so and then of course was Huru Nakajima's nicely placed inside of there sticking out he has a nice light blue shirt on we, we didn't know what the color of the clothes he's wearing because the picture online is in black and white so he was wearing a headband and a shirt of course and so I told Mark uh, on the headband just go with a uh, bluish color and I, I thought that would look good with this so and then the shirt is a uh, lighter blue and the uh, headband's a little darker blue but the shirt's nicely done of course got some wrinkling and stuff pretty cool um, the headband is a darker blue, like I said. It's a nice tie in the back here. And then his hair is a jet black, of course. Eyebrows black. Nice uh, sculpting of the face and nice uh, capturing of his look in, in the picture. Um, he's smiling and uh, pretty wide in the picture. And uh, Mark captured that on his face rather well here. Nicely sculpted ears on his head there. Very cool. Um, he really captured it and then of course his left hand is hanging down here to the side just like in the uh, reference picture and then his right hand is up here resting on the side of the Godzilla suit holding up the head so it's really cool really nicely done but I do like how Mark picked the colors here I do remember telling him I wanted the head just make the head uh, bandana blue so what he did is he took two off-tone blues. This is a very light blue on the shirt and then the darker blue on the headband. So I do like how he done that. It goes well with the overall figure, I think. But uh, of course, this is the 1972 Godzilla, as you can see here in the face. This is 72, of course. 
base is nicely done. The mouth is slightly open, just like the reference pick. Um, it's very uh, nicely sculpted. High eyebrow ridge, of course. More uh, narrow together, less like the 72. Nice sculpting of the nose and the textures of the face on the cheeks and stuff. The eyes are a white with a black pupil. Very nicely done by Mark. Both eyes, very nice. And his teeth are uh, more of a lighter color, uh, doll doll white compared to the toenails and stuff. A doll doll white with a uh, individually sculpted and they got, of course, Godzilla's crazy shaped different uh, directional shaped teeth and stuff and they're really nicely done mark and it really just sculpted it looks like every tooth is nicely done like in that manner so even on the neck here i don't know if he meant to do this but it looks like he captured the dots on the neck where haru nakajima would see out of the suit when he was wearing in full suit it looks like Mark sculpted in the, the uh, holes in the suit there because that's what it certainly looks like. I, I, I don't know if that's what he was meaning to do, but that's kind of what it looks like right here because the tree bark is not so prevalent here and there's some little round dotted type things right here. And I believe he was trying to capture the, dot, the uh, holes in the suit there. So that's pretty cool. At least that's what it looks like to me. It's nicely done overall, this thing from tail to the top of the head to Haru Nakajima and his portrayal of Nakajima is really nicely done. I really really am happy with this uh, sculpture. Um, very very cool. Alright I'll bring forth a couple of my other customs to do some quick size comparisons with this and we'll do that right now. Alright everybody I'm back and here is my custom Godzilla gigantic custom Godzilla 1968 with my newly acquired Haru Nakajima in the suit 72 Godzilla. It's pretty uh these things are pretty awesome I must say. I love this love this love this suit if anybody knows me I it's my favorite one along with that 73 the very next suit um but uh very nicely uh very nice combo here for sure very 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 nicely done on these two by mark i must say all right let's uh do another quick size comparison uh, right now all right everybody here is my custom gigantic godzilla 1984 holding the reactor core from the film iconic scene in the film with my gigantic karu nakajima 1972 in the suit nice scale with these um gigantics mark scales them very well with the uh x plus gigantic lineup they scale rather well I posted a picture the other day uh, with this, with my X, some of my X Plus, the majority of them, and he really does do a good job on these things. Very nicely scaled. All right, I will uh, come back with some quick final thoughts on this sculpture, and we'll do that right now. All right, everybody, I'm back with my gigantic custom. Haru Nakajima in the suit, 1972 Godzilla suit. Very nicely done sculpture by Mr. Mark Sang Yang. Great artist. I can attest to his skills 46 times over. That's how many of those I have in my collection from him. The next one has a spectacular deal. Um, it's going to be another gigantic um, he's going to be working on. I think he's actually working on kind of i think he might be working on two at, at this time but i know the one i'm really referring to here is another 2019 godzilla it's going to be really really awesome it's going to be gigantic in scale with the x plus line and should be really good but um i'll probably have that after first of the year i'm guessing i as far as i know to my knowledge um hopefully 
but um, he was uh, waiting on the gigantic 19X Plus to come in and use it as reference points to do the sculpt for what he's going to make for me. So that'll be really, really cool. But I would highly recommend Mark Singing as an artist to anyone who wants a Godzilla sculpt a piece he can really do a nice job with them he always does you can uh, also consult with leslie chambers about that because i know he has several pieces from mark i know there's several people out there that have them in the x plus group as well um they can attest to mark's talents as well he's a very good artist very talented artist and he does put his love and care into these and i i can attest to that but just by looking at them that he uh really does care about what how he does with these and how he makes them and does a bang up job every time when i get one so very happy i've got this um if you ever want a, something specific from a movie scene you've seen some of my other ones um he can do certain scenes from movies and combination sculpts and everything so he's really really a very talented artist highly recommend him couldn't recommend him more. All right, everybody. I will bring the camera forth for a close-up of this. And I want to thank everybody for their time and attention. Um, I'll also have some more comparison shots at the end here with uh, this thing. Um, I want to thank everyone, like I said, for all their time and attention and supporting my channel and this hobby. This is Phil the Kaiju King from my collection room in Greater Cincinnati. And you all have a very blessed day.